Hi, I'm Kitty. And I'm Jennifer. And we're the O'Neill Sisters. And we're going to show you how to make Venetian glass bead earrings. Here's what you need to make the earrings. You need chain nose pliers, you need round nose pliers, and you need wire cutters or flush cutters. Then you need two head pins, and the ones we chose have a little ball on the end just as a nice detail. You need two earring wires, and they have the same little ball on the end. And they come shaped just like that. You need two bicone crystal beads, and these are Swarovski crystals. And we got all these items at a craft store. You could get them at your local bead shop. Then we have these gorgeous Venetian glass beads. To make our first earring, we're going to slide the glass bead onto a head pin. And to do that, we want to make sure that the heart sits upright, so I'm going bottom first. And then we need a bicone. So I'm going to grab this little bicone right here and slide it on. And it's going to nestle right into the curvy parts of the heart. And now we need a wrap loop. So to make a wrapped loop, I'm going to use my round nose pliers, and I'm going to grab the wire of the head pin right above the bicone, and I'm going to make a 90 degree angle. Once I do that, I'm going to reposition the pliers so that I'm in the top part of that 90 degree angle, and I'm going to pull the wire around the top jaw of the chain nose pliers. She's letting the round shape of the pliers create the round shape on the wire. Now I'm repositioning the pliers so that my bottom jaw is now in the loop and I'm going to finish pulling the wire around to make it a, a nice round circle. That looks good. And then I'm going to switch pliers. So I'm going to put my chain nose pliers down, or round nose, and I'm going to grab my chain nose pliers and I'm going to grab that loop flat. And that's to keep that shape perfect. I'm going to grab onto the end of the wire and pull it around that stem twice. And that's why it's called a wrap loop. It's got a loop at the top and then two wraps around the stem. And once I have that, I'm going to use my flush cutters to cut the wire. And she's going to use it with the, the flat side towards the project and that will cut it flush. And, and now we have... There's our first one and then just repeat to make the second one. So we'll take our head pin Put on the Venetian glass bead. These Venetian glass beads came from a bead show, and when you want a really special bead, you can go to a bead show. It's so much fun. I'm grabbing my round nose pliers. She's got her two beads on there, now she's making another wrap loop. A round, complete loop. I'm going to switch to my chain nose pliers. And now two wraps. Just like that. And then you just trim it. Be sure to hold on to the end of the wire when you're snipping so that that piece of wire doesn't go flying across the room and into somebody's eye. That would be bad. And those parts are done. Now you just need to slide them onto the earring wires. So this earring wire, we're going to use our chain nose pliers and we're going to just open this loop up like you would open a door. That way you don't lose the shape. We're going to flip it over, take that loop, feed it onto the earring wire, pull it around into the little nook, and then close the little door or the loop. Just like that. And that's how you put anything onto an earring wire. You just open up the little loopy part at the bottom and then slide your item on, whatever it is. It could be a chain or a component like this, and then put it in the nook. And then all you have to do is close that loop up. And here are our finished earrings, and they turned out so pretty. They were easy to make, too. It's those gorgeous beads that do all the hard work. And now you can make your own Venetian glass bead earrings. 